from a rented coffin factory and plastics factory to a multi-purpose facility. From a post-Vatican II vision to a foundation of the Hopog community, the parish of St. Thomas More has lived and loved together for 50 years. Come see how we started and how we grew in a new documentary movie. Even the name of the church was intentional to provide the message of the Vatican Council and to be the spirit of the laity. When we began, no brides wanted to get married in the factory. It was too ugly a facility for them. But after the first two years, everybody wanted to get married in the factory of love because that's what it was all about. He brought me back to the church, truthfully. Yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for Father Kerwin and then after Father Kerwin, Father Savini, uh, I'd probably still be where I was, which was a very good, well, wish it he wasn't was, a very good place. He was, you know, older, but he had such a vision of the future of the church that was kind of unique. He was ahead of his time, and we benefit. <laughs> so when Father Walden and I were put together by fate and probably God, certainly by our bishop, we had no idea of who each other was or what our talents or abilities were. This is what it means to be church, not to go to a building, but to share the faith journey together. Experience rare photos, videos, audio recordings, and artifacts. Hear from those who have shared in the history of the parish, past and present. It's not only we are socially um, coming and communicating and having a good time, but also spiritually allowing some God experiences, which is bigger than our communications. From joys, to sorrows. The parish of St. Thomas More has been united in the love of Christ for 50 years. Any little way that we try to give back um, has to do with everything that, that we've received and, and we're looking forward to many, many more years of being a part of this parish community. We love it. So don't miss this exciting new documentary.